Super Mobile. Welcome back, everybody. Drake Hogs again. We're playing some more Knights of Honor 2 as Aberdeenshire. This is our Highlands to Islands campaign. And it uh, looks like our uh, King Trellin is getting old and has no heir. He has, well, he's got no heir. He's got uh, a lovely family full of girls. Um, now, Queen Catherine is now Swedish because she's the queen of the uh, Swedish king, who the guy who's now our son-in-law, basically, who inherited Sweden, which For is Christ cool. and glory, a new crusade is coming. Well, that's phenomenal. Uh, Sardinia is after whatever that is. Foreign merchants have arrived. Nice. Saxony's begun trade with us. Let's uh, see what else is going on. We've got the Siege of Gothenburg. Um, no Bible, no Bible sieges, please. Uh, this guy right, is on his way. The lovely king is on his way up to, uh, to join up here, generally speaking. Let's do that. Uh, through there. Well, it looks like they're just getting absolutely trounced repeatedly. So, I'm not sure, uh, there's been suggestions this might be a less than, you know, perhaps less than politically wise choice, uh, to be supporting their, uh, the fighting back their peasants um i hope that what it'll produce some value Warm for us uh edinburgh is uh uh got the uh baron engerard on his way in i don't know what happens when we when we pass without an heir i have no idea we're gonna find out probably soon because our dude's now listed as old i don't know if it's like every moment there's a chance that he passes or what but or if there's certain actions that increase the likelihood <laughs> pardon prevail. me hi guys weren't you supposed to be on the on the landing duty no join that siege Maybe we might come down More and deal with this one next to too all right let's get the uh speed kicked up a little uh how long on this siege we captured a new province. There you go. We have liberated one of our liberated. Towns. Excellent. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, yes, do some more. Li oh, there's there's We're the marching. there's the siege again. Marching. Now I don't know if they if they All keep their moving. units or what happens. Let's drop speed down a little bit. We are on our way. Look yeah, let's get castle. in there. Oh, oh, oh! There they are. What is your wish? What we do they have? have? No business with you. They have one group of heavy archers, peasants. Nordic peasants, Slavic bowmen. You know what? You do the have royal. business with me, friend. For the crown. You certainly do. The man. Uh, my, my king, get involved. Now, we army. have the advantage. I will lead this battle because we haven't done one of these Our in quite a while. The upper hand. Yeah, I know they do, but we haven't done one of these uh, on the field battles for a while. It might be a good time to do it. Since, uh, you know, the king might not have a lot of time left, and at least this battle should be very decisive. If we can knock out a, like, six or eight thousand men rebel force well, here. Well, well, well. This is the buffoon everyone is talking about. I love it. Map, sire. I love it. Taking these capture points could this is the buffoon. our victory. This is the buffoon everyone is talking about. All right, let's uh, pan out a little bit. Looks like they're going to pause things. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of a... A front line mostly made up of peasants. This is a heavy archer, so we got to hit that one good. Uh, and he's got his leader in the back. Now, there has been updates. <coughs> so apparently, the AI is less likely to suicide itself. Uh, we have some fairly weakened forces here. I was unaware of this scenario. Hmm. Okay, I want... I want... Uh, you know what? Hmm. Honestly, we're probably oh, okay on. as is. These light spears are going to do the thing. Ready. Ready to fight. Let's run our forces along the... What the heck was that all about? Along there. Good. <coughs> spearman ready. This spearman group I kind of want in the front. Because honestly, it's going to take the... Uh, they're they're going to charge through if they see us sitting here with a weak... Uh, ready to fight. Weak line of... Bowman ready. Um... Ready to fight! Partially shaken horses or uh, swordsmen at the beginning. That's Awaiting definitely going to get their attention. Bring you guys in, you into the uh, side here. here. Don't bring it, these boys around. We're going to uh, tighten them up. 
Close ranks. And we're gonna go we're in a ambush. in a whatever it's called away. that sort of formation. We will stand here and let our archers rip through their front lines. I must be well protected. My life is precious. There we go. Ready your swords. Oh yeah, I was gonna say swordsmen. These aren't all swordsmen, actually. Some of them are, but some of them are not. Um, I think we'll uh, rain the arrows in on this as our primary target for now. We've set a target for our archers. My life is precious. Let's go. Let's not it overburn your stamina, boys. From there, we can watch the battle. Let's speed things up just a little. I like to usually run these at one x speed or slower. Looks like his leader's kind of trailing safely behind. Makes sense to me. Slowing things down, they're starting to wheel in to tighten up. I'm in charge here. We are on We're gonna way. pose a threat to their flank. Awaiting target. March on. Stop at once. Draw. Loose. Fire, boys. Fire away. Keep your heads down. My life is precious. All right, their actual sword group is here. I want to bring. Let's go. It looks safe. A charge in on their heavy archers. Show me your heels. Their spearmen. At your command. They're flanking us. We stay for glory. Blood and steel. All right. Oh, good. Good. Good hold there. The Hit their heart archers. We Smash. Must protect our leader from the enemies. Quickly. After Back me. around. Run, run, Pulling this run. way and bring our... our... Running away. Yeah, the we, some of them the will. I must be well protected. Show We're going to keep this uh, heavy Follow archer the on the... Man. Stand in our on way. his heels. Step apart. The enemy troops are losing hope quickly. Yeah, they're crashing the leader here. That's good. Our leader came in be behind. Well and I believe our... Yeah, our spearmen on both spear sides are fighting, are our engaged. Oh, I think we just lost that spear Surround unit. The enemy. Leader's falling. There we go. He's fleeing. A couple Victory more volleys and he's down. Ours. Done. We've slain the enemy leader. All right. Not bad. It was an efficient, fairly efficient hit. Uh, those heavy archers definitely take We've a beating. an enemy army, my lord. A marriage proposal has come our way. Oh, really? All right, Swedish or please. Thank you, my son. A marriage proposal. Norway offers marriage. Norway wants a piece of my lands. Would King Talon be interested in marrying the prince? Wait, I'm already married, aren't I not? Wait a second. Let me think about that. Did Sire, we lose our wife? I present no. to you the royal family. No, I I don't have any interest in remarrying into a Norwegian. Oh, king. Oh, sorry. The king to Princess Renault. Yes. Uh, yes, that is fine. The uh, Norwegian king will marry one of our daughters. Lovely. A, a celebration to be had. Excellent. So we are wish? definitely bound up with these guys and we have no... Uh, no substantial, what is your um, command? we have no substantial, uh, control of our heritage, or our future. Come to aid in our battle. <laughs> nice. We're in trouble. <laughs> our dynasty is definitely spreading. Um, Merchant and Worms? Worm is a nice game. Um, Army Supplies Shortage. Yeah, that's not surprising, actually. One of you or both of you are severely short on supplies, but that's okay. We got enough. We got enough to make it. Won't take long to smash this little group here. And there's another 3,500. We'll hit them. After this siege breaks, which is like now. Oh, there's another 56, 5,500 of them. has led us to become a great power. Player Alexander the Great? <laughs> Oh, become a great power, really. Let's have a look at that. Yes, the might of our empire is now undeniable. We are recognized as a great power by the rulers of other kingdoms. Excellent. More kingdom influence, more culture, and 
uh, army morale. Nice. We are listed as number eight on the list. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, we're half the fame of, like, England, Germany, and and uh, uh, Fatimids. Um, but, you know, not, not unreasonable. There's another thing I was supposed to be uh, bringing to my... was supposed to be brought to my attention, which was the Kingdom Advantages. Kingdom Advantages, sire. Yes, that's what I just said. Um, and apparently, uh, these are based on things that we can access. So, for instance, we make barrels, right? Uh, I believe these are tradable. If I understand correctly, I don't make oil. I don't make salted fish, but I can make them. Or I can trade for them. We can produce salted fish in all our provinces. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we, the horses, we cannot produce trained horses in any of our provinces. Okay, I see. So the only one here that we cannot produce is medicine. We need to get, oh, we can produce it, but we need to gain access to, out, uh, to goods outside the kingdom first. Okay. So if, for instance, we were to go for progress, which would give us uh, lower upgrade costs and plus 25% production, that's huge. Uh, our ink is the only missing ingredient on that. Versus like enlightenment down here, we don't have a lot in this category at all. Okay. Siege attack, army morale. So these can be pretty potent. Yes, I'm, uh, thank for, thanks for bringing these to my attention. So abundance, when we get abundance, our population growth in all provinces up by 30% and uh, 10 kingdom happiness and uh, kingdom wide. It's pretty awesome. Now, so for instance, if we needed to get uh, meat and we're in at producing meat, uh, even though it's a province, for instance, maybe we've got 20 provinces or 15 provinces or even... 10 and we can't have a governor in all of them if the province that doesn't have a governor in is is producing a bunch of resources he's still contributing massively to the empire so <coughs> that's pretty awesome all right so we got to break this and then try to do so before these guys arrive or these guys arrive that would be lovely come on come on this is not cool not okay dang it my lord, our siege has been interrupted. Mm. All right. Um, kingdom destroyed. Oh, yes. Clerical opportunity, religious mission. Uh, he's busy right now. Success chance to do what? Send the cardinal to Rome. Learn more about religious practices. We are full on religious points. We're full on books. Oh, goodness gracious. Army breaks the siege. Hmm, okay, well, tactically, this is fairly well balanced. What does he have for troops? Is there a way of finding that out? I don't think so. Hmm. All right, well, we will we'll go ahead and uh, take on this battle, I think. I, I don't like the siege battles, uh, because when you're breaking a siege, I think I get sort of like the initiative. I have to do something about this battle. I'm not sure how this pans out. I mean, they're breaking the siege, so you would think that's them sorting out, so I can let them come to me. But I don't think that's how they play this in this version. <coughs> Pardon me. This is not good. The enemy has received reinforcements. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know that. A fairly substantial this one. This is the enemy stronghold. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Get to the point now who has the initiative counter looks like they do excellent so his uh walls and defenses are going to be of no use to him because he's gonna have to come to me <coughs> i like this idea now however we don't have a particularly great uh piece of terrain here hmm all right um not a fan of the fact that he's got well what does he have peasants 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 peasant 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 
and his uh, main army. And then what is this? Is this a light horse? It is a light cavalry. Okay. It's going to likely be on my eastern flank, on my right flank. At your command. I'm going to bring our uh, dude with spears around to this side. We have another dude Spearman with ready. spears that I want actually in here because he's little. Yo, you're just fight. a little guy. Ready to fight. Uh, and on this side of the line, I want um, a pile of those. And then I'm going to get ready. three more of you running up in here. You can take the back targets. and middle one that we don't have, we're not using, and they're gonna sit right up in here. Is that gonna work? In behind? Sure. Reach that no, it's not gonna area. work. You're gonna be Move here. Out. All right, then our swords and, and crazy Those Highlanders and Vikings Ready for action. need to go in the middle. Yeah, in a fairly tight. Time Good that move. kind of formation. Perfect. I'm in charge here. I and you must guys be well protected. You guys are gonna come over here with the hopes that I can actually hit his um Not too close to the enemy. I would like to hit his light cavalry if he move uses to it position. to move in. So he's got initiative, which means he's gonna have to move in, or the timer runs out and he loses. Now he's not moving. He is moving. There we go. Had to get his commands, his uh, instructions in order. He's gonna wheel and come straight down the line here at us, I believe. So you have a, there is another unit of town guard in the middle there. They're kind of like a mix between the peasants and a, a spearman, I think. Come on, boys, get in position. A little quicker would be nice. I'd really appreciate you not getting caught with your drawers down I'm in charge here I know you are but what am I down here there's this there's a lot riders hey okay. <coughs> um well honestly this guy is going to be the primary archery Arrows target of course rain on these troops while they are in our archers range the light horse do they have a particular uh, Strong against ranged units. Okay. Is he strong against ranged units as well? Yeah. That's okay. We're still going to use the ranged units on him. Well, that doesn't look like a nice clean line that I suggested you use. Spearman ready. Does it? Ready to Boys. Fight. Bowman ready. That was Awaiting dumb. Targets. Okay. Ready to fight. There, there, and Awaiting there. Targets. I actually wanted you to go into a line. You guys are real great at this whole marshalling thing. Like that, please. Bowman ready. How about we do that? Oh, Can you actually think about what you're doing, friends? We Good. So, line up. Not, not being ready. stupid. Okay. There we go. Actually, I don't want that spearman caught uh, on the line. That's the problem. Awaiting target. Bowmen ready. You guys go that way. We die for glory. Swordsman can go up in front here. Hold here. Spearman ready. Oh, a little bit better. You actually have the basic concept of what a line is. That's better. And he's just lining up. I mean, you've got the... Current initial status depleting. Depletes while armies uh, aren't fighting. No capture the points are being taken and there's outside. no attacks. Okay. Of course he does. He has to. All right. We have a, an issue know, here for sure. You're going to wheel this way. I'm going to bring these guys Ready to fight. Awaiting targets. back like this. Ready to fight. And this. None shall stand in our way. And you're going to pull in front. We die for glory. March on. We can hit those light cav. We can break it. Move out. Awaiting target. Release. Ready to fight. Raise the bow. Shoot. Awaiting target. Our uh, attackers in. in blood. None shall stand in our way. Watch out. Spearman on his lead unit. Enemy 
Heavy cavalry incoming. You guys in this way. I must be well protected. Verge. After me, men. Release. Brace for impact. Now Shoot reel over target. this way, please. Our leader is under attack. Hurry yes, up. indeed. Attention. Ready your swords. Attention. Show me your heels. Reach the spot before the enemy. Engage him. Us. Engage him. Hold him in. Good. Excellent, boys. Aim. Release. Ready to fight. Firing Hold there. Ready. You're firing in here. Wait, what the heck? Are you engaged attack with something? Why? Close. Why can you attack? Run like your lives depend on it. Run like your lives March depend on, on it. Yeah, they kind of do. This is a little sloppy, Drake. I'm more than a little here. sloppy. That cavalry is way more of a slowdown than I expected. All right. Let's fire in on this Draw. unit then. Loose. We are being flanked. Yeah, we don't have the right troop mix for this very well. Not particularly good troop, mi troop mix for this, but we'll get him. Awaiting target. Hey, you guys need to um, pursue that. You know what? No. Not really thinking ready clearly here. Fight. Hold on. Spearman ready. Keep hitting the enemy here. Pierce them, men. We must protect our leader from the enemies. I must be well protected. Yeah, he's having a valiant battle. Pierce that's for sure. Chaos. Aim. Release. Right, move up. Shoot the target. Okay, are Ready we to gonna be able to Ready interact fight. here? Ready to so fight. this spear unit is going to track this guy, but that's about it. That's all he's gonna be able to do. You guys need to turn on glory. these crazies. Spearman ready. And you need to turn on these crazies. Actually, you can just hang out here because. You're so weakened, it's not going to make much difference. Fresh. Hit this group of peasants here. Awaiting target. The enemy is cowering. Yeah, I know. He's running like a little scared girly girl. I'm in charge here. I must be well protected. Run, run, run. Enemy Back, troops commander. are attacking our leader. The cowards are fleeing. Ready to fight. In there, please. At your command. And in there, please. All right, they're breaking Those off. Stand in our way. This is the town guard. I want to that to shatter too. Ready for action. You boys, line up. Move out. Prepare for them. Ah, Come on. The weaklings have run away. And immediately to take off as soon as we they're shot at. Good. Glory. All right. Uh, this group. These way. guys can just hang out. And wait. Ready your swords. You're gonna come over this way. Spearman ready. I'm in charge here. Not working there. Not working at all. We need these spears to come in this way. Time to move. Should have used them differently. To prioritize those other guys. He's running. He's fully running for the hills. He's out of here. No, he's turning back. Dum dum. He's just he's just playing for time. A coward. Where did our little uh little spear group go? Ready to fight. Right here, Spears. March on. Looks like they My did life break. Is precious. Quickly, after me. Hit him. Blood and steel. Hit him hard. In the trees, why not? Just run right through them. Spread! Spread! Smack! Take him out, boys! I must be well protected. Our cowardly foes retreated Aha. from the battlefield. <laughs> All right. Pardon my voice. Our armies have conquered a province. All right. Our armies freed. have liberated the town of our ally. Now, why is it not freed? It doesn't. It looks freed, but it doesn't look freed. All right. This is a lot of troops yes, spent here. Hmm. Got this son in law? You don't have this. Look at this. He doesn't have any land under his control. This is absurd. Wow. Okay. Um. 
Any tactical advice? Yeah. Don't get involved in the land war in Sweden. Alright, this yes. fine fellow has some higher-end troops now. Uh, and he's gonna set sail as well. And we're gonna exchange some lands here. There's some control points here, I suppose. Get over to Varborg. Or Gothenburg. Gothenburg is fine. My troops are waiting. Alright, what does Bring he have now? Peasants, 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 peasants. Some bowmen and some light spears. What is your command? What is your wish? My wish is that we My do not get waiting. caught out like that. What is your wish? Yes, my lord. Head down this way. My Sweden and Norway. Shot. Can you guys maybe get involved in defending what Sweden and Norway? Command? That'd be lovely. Sailor's on his way over. We should reach the shore soon. Nah, we won't. Not soon. That's not a thing. All right. I'm ready. He's going to try and pillage. So we're going to sail on, run on past him. Yes. Uh, you can probably head over here and see what's going on this way. I think we br we brought a large army, drew a large army out there. Uh, this is owned by Norway. This is absurd. This is basically all a peasant war that we are fighting for our f family. I mean, theoret thematic thematically, it's nice, but a new tradition can be adopted. Ah, sire. I present to you the I appreciate family. the idea of a new tradition. However, these are probably, yeah, they're pretty costly, a lot of books as well. Now, I think what we're going to do instead is do a bit more training on some of our younger characters. What is your hey, our top, our uh, Marshal uh, Necton, or Baron Necton, could use some more military training. Upgrading his spear defense and his iron fist would be good. Now I am mighty and smart. There we go. Uh, oh, 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 what did I just do? My troops are waiting. No, 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 no. Yes. Go jump to him. Uh, okay, there we go. I want to head up here. What is this? Um, who is this? Oh, there you Okay, that is a Nor is that a Norwegian army? I don't what know. Command? Let's head up that way first and find out. So Go around here, though. Our diplomat managed to improve our relations. Excellent. Aragon's relations are improved. So there's a couple great suggestions, one of which is to use some of these allies to start forming a plan of attack against the English. I think we might be a bit premature on that. Um from my skill level, not probably tactically it would be the right thing, but the other thing is I was suggested that I look into our provinces for things like this. See, we have salt trade. Do we produce salt right now? I don't think so. Uh, how would I find that out? I think it might be under something. Province overview. I mean, is there C-short? No. Uh, I'd like to know about our goods produced. Mm-hmm. 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 Thought there was a way to find that out. Um <coughs> hurt me. Um not here. It's just this is all the provinces, but it's not showing me the details of that. The well, advantages will tell us, right? Sire. So uh, one of them, wool, salted fish, oil, medicine, meat, glass, um, candles, and ale. Okay. Do we have salt as one of these things here? Uh, progress, tar, sulfur, saltpeter. It's got the word salt in it. Canvas, no. I don't see salt as a one of the features here. Salted fish. Now, salted fish comes from the market. Maps. Cartographers in the Admiralty Building. Okay. Sales from sail makers in the shipyard. 
Okay, that I see. I see how this is going to work. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll look through what our provinces can generate. Oh wait, I think that was showing it there. Hold on, did that show what I was looking for? Our Down here. Okay, here we go. Goods. Yes, and goods. These are our goods. Uh, sixty-four of sixty-four, huh? I don't know what that means. Um, uh, produces. Ah, timber, salt, and barrels. That's what we currently produce. Okay, I like it. That's information I can use. Now, over here in Edinburgh, uh, this place produces herbs, wax, spice, candles, and dye with appropriate things. Sheep produces meat, wool, leather, and parchment. Well, let's start with a sheep farm, shall we? Get a sheep farm going in Edinburgh. What's Edinburgh without some sheep? Um, and then we would add butchers to this building. Okay. So some sheep in Edinburgh. What can we do in, let's say, Inverness? Uh, Inver oh, Inverness has sheep. Oh, what the heck? Hold on, then. Um, okay. Why are we not able to produce sheep, then? Or anything from this sheep? says meat but meat was oh these are possible okay ah uh, okay i see so it's saying it's got a uh, goods produced is meat wool leather and parchment well wool leather and parchment are grayed out because they come from stuff that i'm not able to unlock yet butchers i'm able to unlock to get meat okay i like that now having sheep in a couple spots is probably actually advantageous uh but having a salt trader is also very good what we have now we have a salt trader right there okay and we have a market in aberdeen so the salt what does he need to oops no i don't need to remove that i need to click no mm. do we not upgrade the salt trade maybe the salt trade doesn't get upgraded Is normally you click these and you get options so there's no upgrade for that okay all right fair enough um none of these produce a resource okay market square the harbor could produce fish if we had salt which we do salt and barrels okay for 2800 bucks and 2000 labor we can get aberdeen start to make a, a fish market which will provide uh, salted fish excellent now, what does salt? What does having salted fish spe specifically do for us? I'm not certain. I'm not certain. But uh, there you go. Kingdom effect. Okay. Uh, plus three trade in the kingdom. That is not for the market. That's for the salted fish product. Army resupply gold reduction five percent. Hey, produced in fish market at the harbor. Uh, we can produce um, salted fish in all our provinces. Now, all of our provinces is an interesting statement. I think we get that act, that bonus to all provinces as long as we produce it anywhere. That's my thought. We have a sulfur trade option down in Armagh. So what does it need? Sulfur deposit produces sulfur. Cool. That's it. Straight up like that. Okay. Over here, do we have a uh, specific resource? we can produce here probably we're gonna need a lot of cash so i think our cash flow is desperately low for the size of our empire it feels like it <coughs> pardon me dublin's full of housing and it's got a church and it's got a barracks and the lord's castle capital of dublin apparently what could we what else could we we got metal works here ah silver smelter okay so if i right click to lock that ah there we go um kingdom income would be plus five income as well as one base merchant trade income nice and then it's required for the queen's chamber jewelry shops town charters uh and the matasibs mat matas mutasibs I think that's from the Arabic lands. I don't think we'll produce that. Sounds like it anyways. Uh, decorations and merchant banks. Okay, so a lot comes from having silver. Hmm. Oh, we can produce silver ingots in Cork and Galway. 
Oh, cool. Why can we produce it in Galway? Is that a silver mine? It's a mine. Uh, blast furnaces? Iron. Hmm. Why are we able to produce? Um. Metalworks in Galway. Produce iron. Fires iron ore, which we have. Miner shack increases trade. Production, cheaper building costs. I feel like this is not being mined. We'll see. All right, so we've we've spent a bit on the uh, fish market upgrade and on the sheep production. That's good. We're making 190. We need to bring that number up fairly substantially. What are our expenses? Our gold, sire. Espionage, uh, religion, and culture, and diplomacy are costing us a lot. So religion and culture day, mostly son. would be like, this is what? 75 upkeep. Ooh. He's bolstering a culture, which is good. But that's a lot of money that I could spend on upgrading other things. Hmm, okay. How about we hold off on that for a bit? Oh, look at that. You can take a religious mission. So 75, what? Is that a... I don't know how frequently that 75 is, but... Uh, you, them. I'm sure it will. Provoke war with Hamburg. No, thank you. A witch hunt. Where is this? <coughs> mm hmm. Infiltrated Mecklenburg. Help prisoners escape. Help friendly prisoners escape. A witch hunt. Even if the spy does everything in his power to succeed, chance indicated below. There's an additional hidden chance for failure. If foreign spies evade detection or there aren't any in the kingdom. Okay, this is the witch hunt for removing spies. Gotcha. Provoke war with Hamburg. Very unlikely that it'll succeed. So if he's infiltrated Mecklenburg, he's sitting around down here. Basically doing nothing. We're not in a state of war with them anyways. So let's bring him back. I will return when there's a chance to do so. Excellent. Do you need um, advice? Our merchants, or our diplomats rather, um, are doing what? Oh, he's not, he's not doing anything right now. He's working on Aragon. Okay. And diplomatically the speaking, at your fingertips. <laughs> this is relations with us right here. Um, okay. I'd like to improve relations with Germany, please. Sometimes diplomacy is the only way. Let's plan our strategy. My strategy is, in, is to improve relations Dolly. with Germany um, for a while, because uh, if we can continue to do that, then uh, we won't be the guy that they hate that's near the guy that they like. So hopefully we can... Uh, Turn the tails to like, you know, well, maybe we don't absolutely hate him enough to do something about it. That sort of scenario. My authority. Now get rid of that, buddy. All right, let's bring the speed up a little bit. This yes, siege is going to, he's, he's pillaging there, which is, honestly, that's fine by me. There we go. We got a siege happening in uh, Gothenburg. Let this be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Our ranks and will you be right into there. Army. Oh, good. Looks like the Norwegians have come to help. Good. Attention. Our troops have no food. Where, 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 what? Oh, really? Is that low on supply, huh? Yes. My troops are waiting. Oh, he has zero supply. That's a terrible yes. idea. Um, can we get a diplomat mission, we please? We erected a new building, sire. There's nothing to pillage here. They can't even pillage their lands. Because it's allied land that's held by... My god, they just keep spewing we units. No business with you. Yeah, you don't, Soon but I've got business with you, okay, buddy? Places. 
That's how this is working. Swedish army arriving. Yay! The wind They're coming to help. Today. You're gonna come join us up here. King is desperately low on units, advice. or on supplies, which is not good. I need to get out of Dodge here. He needs to head home. Because he's got to get back and get recovered. Holy Crusade. Uh, for freeing Jerusalem, really. That's very dramatic. Open these damn gates or I'll break them. No, no, I don't think I will. Thanks. Thanks for showing up and pretending like I care. 6,000 men on their way somewhere. The I thirst for battle. Another 5,000 in into uh, Barberg. Alright, these guys the should be much... We have no business oh my you. god, what the heck are these guys pulling out these troops for? I don't understand. How do they have There's such forces? Like the cold breeze in the morning. Get involved in protecting this, please. Wow, okay, they're going to come in and join the siege on either side. Not ideal. Freedom not a good, not people. good at all. Our troops here are going to be stuck in there. Dang it. All right, can yes. I intervene here? We have no business with you. These are, these are too tough for our troops. These are, this is nuts. The Vikings are just, or the... My sword is yours, sire. The, the, the... the the enemy is trying to break our siege. Yeah, they are indeed. But we need to leave. You need I'm to ready. leave, sir. My troops are waiting. Food supplies are running low for our troops. Mm-hmm. A diplomatic message has arrived. Deepers. There are opportunity to enlighten mission. Hmm. I would yes, have sounds lovely. These fine people. Norway demands that we attack England. Go away, Norway. Seriously? How about you attack your own peasants? The peasants destroying your lands. I think we're going to lose this attempt at, at recovering. Okay, you're desperately low. Siege break happening there. I am ready. All right. This is not faring well. It's not faring properly for us at all. Hmm. Look at this. They've just got everything controlled. <laughs> That's wild. Alright, you're gonna spend some time gallivanting here. The others are going home. Is sharp. The wind is with us today. You're gonna head back to uh Aberdeen, please. When you can, you can't right now because you're in no panic mode. Considered a great power, my lord. Yeah, I know. We just got our butts kicked by a bunch of peasants trying to defend others' butts from peasants. Yes. Now, do they have two units here? We do. We have the Norwegian and Swedish forces trying to do the fight here. The morale is shot. The resilience is shot. Jeepers. Norwegians are trying to take that fort back, but not succeeding at all. Another 7,000 men. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. We can just throw units to the to the wind here, or we can leave them. It's our son-in-law, though. Come on. Uh, this is what? Ostergaard. Okay, you were going to go liberate that. Well, our uh, like king and uh, another fellow head home. I see Lecton. Are you heading all the way to Oh that's Sire, we have completed an upgrade. Excellent. Fish market upgrade completed. Okay. Now the fish market is now everywhere, correct? Correct. Okay, so this town gets a bonus because it's got a harbor with a fish market. Our food situation should be strongly positive now. Warehouse will increase trade at all our markets. That's probably positive. It's definitely positive, but it's probably worth doing. <coughs> I do want the silver mines here. 3,200, huh? 
See, what, what I don't get is what this says here. Silver ingots. We can produce silver ingots in Cork and Galway. Can we? Did I miss something up here? Maybe Galway has that feature already. Oh, I can't, I can't look at the buildings they have. Uh, because I, like, legit... Oh, there we go, view buildings. There we go, silver smelting is an option here too. Okay. So that's telling us where we could set that up. Makes sense now. I didn't notice this building for a long time. My bad. Mineral trade. Hmm. I like this idea. 1800. We need a space to put it, however. To get that unlocked, it's going to be four grand. Okay, let's look to see if we've got others that are unutilized tiles. Oh my, this place has a lot in it. Royal Armory. Lord's Castle, and a barracks with uh, flax. Oils, linen, canvas, and rope. Hmm. Get an oil press here. We don't have this in the kingdom, correct? That would be one of the resources. I like this. Um, flax weaving leads to rope and to canvas. Oils uh, increase food from flax. Right click to lock that. And then let's see. Kingdom effects. Melee squad attack plus 5%. 30% siege equipment attack. Siege equipment siege damage plus 30%. That's really good. Oops. Did I just start that? Well, I guess, I, I guess that's what we're making. Didn't mean to bump that, but... Uh, more trade and our income across the kingdom. And then, of course, it unlocks the other stuff. So, okay, we're doing weavers then. Oops, but okay. And up here, what do we have uh, for op open slots? We do have one in Aberdeen. So, we did the fish market. I would like to have the uh, sails from the shipyard. But I'd also have to, like to have the admiralty for maps and cannons and such. Trading port is the way to go, I think, long term. I think this has to be a trading port place, right? Market Square. What could we do to enhance the Market Square? Um, province Stability, Fame when Governed. Okay. Housing. Could we improve situations with housing? Population growth and happiness. Okay. How about our churches? How about our barracks? Can we improve anything with the barracks? Stables. Um. We're for recruiting horse riding non elite cavalry units. I don't know that we're going to do horse riding. And so, although maybe maybe we bring a whole bunch of riders, it'd be cool to have an entirely cavalry force and just trounce through things. That would sound overpowered to me. Um, we don't have farms here, but that's probably reasonable. We have a uh, village, two castles, and a village. Right. Okay. The things that boost castles would be useful. The hill forts does. No, I think we're going to go with the shores. We're going to go in this way. We're going to go in the castle on the on the waters. But all right. There's nothing like the cold breeze. Hector is back. Morning. That's fine. And the king is the on his way sailing home. Today. We are taking uh, Linkopil. Linkoping. That's funny. I like the name of this place. Linkoping. Uh, this is Ostergaden. See if we can uh, do so with it. Look at this. They just few. They just spew units Fate out. There he is. Side. Look at that. An Forget that. Has been completed, my lord. Our army He's sending. Is supplies. What are you, Nordic militia? Peasants. He just spew. He can just absolutely trounce. With, with peasant after peasant. 
Bro, ties broken. Returned to our royal family following her husband's untimely demise. Well. Soon we will breach their defenses. Lifting the siege. I shall abandon this exhausting siege. Out you go, buddy. No Sweden to defend anymore. We're not here for our little girl anymore. Heading home. Non-aggression pact with Sweden over. King Torquil. I agree. We will again sign a non-aggression pact. That's lovely. Norway is happy with it. That's okay. We are heading home. That's our that's our political out right there. That's what we needed. For my moral decision to be our lightened. Opinion has improved. Merchants like not us not spending everything over there, huh? Independent kingdom formed. Crusader Antonio's forces. Uh, Acker has fallen. Kingdom of Matthias. Or King Matthias. Where has this happened? In Jerusalem. Interesting. This is... Wait, that's not Jerusalem. It's Acker. Oh, the new kingdom of Jerusalem. Interesting. That'd be an interesting playthrough to try to try to reestablish a uh, something like that. Would be interesting indeed. Let's head up to Inverness, please. Can you sail all the way there without uh, hitting land? I'd appreciate it if you did. We are now recognized as a great power. Well, I feel much greater now that I'm not suiciding my units. All right, uh, what we don't have here, though, is the higher-end training. So I'm going to say we're going to recover, good strategy. resupply, done, and head out. Oh, I shouldn't have resupplied. And you're going to head down to Cardiff, because Cardiff has all we these awesome troops. Our relations with a foreign kingdom. Uh, province joined foreign kingdom. Sorry, Jerusalem was conquered. Go there. All right, well, that was quick. Jeepers. So this is now uh, Jerusalem being reestablished here under yet another crusade of blood and pillage. All right. Well, let's change the uh, scheme a little bit and then some. Old King uh, Trellin is still on the throne, barely. Whoever, yes, I'm not sure who's going to end up with the throne when he's done. I'm more than a little concerned about that because hey 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 don't run through England please okay Sire, our diplomat managed to improve our relations, relations with England have improved they are sympathetic to our cause now old King Helen Boldus All right we also have sheepers but the same message yeah it is that was weird okay uh, we also have the king here who needs to be upgrading his units. Uh, 500 bucks and anyway. some, some troopage. Uh, I'm going to remove that supply wagon. We're going to reinforce some of your stuff. We have received a diplomatic message. Which is? Castile asks us to join their war. Okay, let's check out Castile's war because that would be useful. If we help Castile, who we have a marriage relation with, they're down here, remember? Political view. Um, okay. They're against who now? Who are they warring? Yeah. All these guys again. The war is back on for in the Moorish lands. And then there's Scotland down here, which is a little weird. Um, I bet you he's going to join in, right? No, he's mostly interested in the eastern lands, which is a little weird. Um, but our Castilian um, uh, father-in-law, I guess, he must be. Yeah, this is a Castilian father-in-law. That's weird. What if we inherited some land from him? I don't think we will. No. We, he, unlike us, has an, a male heir. <coughs> but, um... Kinship... Uh, Servant of the relationship of the king and queen. The successorship of our crown remains undecided. Yes, I know. It will remain that way for a long time. I think we're likely to join Castile in this war. That sounds like a smart plan, in my opinion. 
uh, we'll get this guy re-equipped in, uh, in uh, Cardiff, and the king can re-equip and head down there as well. There's nothing like the cold breeze. Um, or the Baron. The king is getting a little old to be running around in the in the foreign land, so maybe he'll stay home, and we'll send the two uh, barons to to uh, to yes. Spania. All right, let's accept. Castile is pleased. We already have a wedding. Um, although we could we could marry the other way as well. We could do a, you know, total. Uh, um, wait, offer a royal marriage. Um. their prince excellent excellent what did it say nothing you didn't hear anything there oh there we go hey princess catherine our daughter is now married our daughter is now our, our sister-in-law <laughs> oh that's funny <coughs> queen alvera uh, our queen her youngest brother who is still young, but he's the heir to the um, to the king of Castile, and he just married our daughter, which puts him partially involved in the heritage to Aberdeenshire, which is going to get messy real fast. Oh my goodness, who's England threat? Who's England at war with? They have a relationship with these two. They don't have any. Oh, they're friends with a few. Okay, and do we have a listed friends? Sweden, huh? That's it? Let's try to offer... Oh. Hmm. Are you limited because you've got too many friends already? What's that? Hmm. The world at your fingertips. I am unsure. Um, all right, so we are going to continue uh, in the next episode. Going to go, go down and try to help the uh, forces of Castile. I believe they should be fighting against. Yeah, they're fighting against a lot. Oh, they're fighting some lands in the south, eh? The Zerids. Yeah, and they got a few allies here, but they're fighting there now, and they're fighting up here. Toulouse, us in Aberdeenshire. Uh, Galicia, Castile, Aquitaine, and Aragon. Okay, so the Spanish Isles and the Scottish <coughs> Aberdeenshire forces. Hopefully, we can take out some of this land from them. That would be ideal. Or something down here so we can be neighboring Scotland again. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for joining me. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. We'll see you in game.